Hello, and welcome to another Continuous X episode where we search for X in the SDLC equation. We're returning with our guest, Jim Edmonds, who is the product manager for Kessel Run's Dogger application. Um, Mike had a question for you, Jim, um, with regards to uh, adopting the DevSecOps culture. Yes, thanks. Um, when, when we advise organizations about adopting DevSecOps culture, um, which we kind of talked about last time, um, we always tell them that it, it, it actually should be fun, uh, which is sometimes quite a shock to, to them. And, and the, but there really should be an evidence of joy in teams working together and addressing blocking issues that have been maybe plaguing them for a while. Um, it, it's almost a feature, we say, and, and not just a byproduct, of, that there's some fun and joy in doing this. Would you say you've seen evidence of that at Kessel Run? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think fun and Kessel Run are sort of synonymous for me, and one of the reasons why I was really happy to become part of the team. Um, you know, some of the culture that they developed early on was finding a common facility in downtown Boston, uh, you know, outfitting it with state of the art equipment, um, allowing a much more casual uh, culture than typically the military. Uh, allows you know this is the first time I've worn a sport coat in a little bit, um, but you know fun. Uh, you know once you do the cold brew and once you have the the scrums and the, the sessions of ping pong, it gets down to the work. I think that's really where the fun really starts kicking off because it's fun to be part of a winning team. It's fun to be part of uh, an organization where you feel like you're being supported. Uh, not only by your own particular product team where you, you own a product and you're working together, it's a flat organization, but when you look to your left and look to your right, uh, the flatness of the organization extends beyond the product team. Uh, we have portfolios, we have product lines, and even our senior leadership, the commanders of the unit at Kessel Run, are all part of an organization that's very transparent, uh, very much focused on helping one another, uh, the teams um, are divisible by certain numbers, but indivisible in how they uh, commit to one another. Uh, they've, I think, broken uh, some barriers on uh, the, the COVID environment, this distributed nature as we've had to work from home by utilizing tools to like Mattermost and uh, other collaborative tools to communicate, stay on board with one another, uh, the responsiveness to queries uh, is instantaneous. Uh, the thoroughness of the reports are always very good. Uh, transparency on what's happening within the organization is really good. And so as you go about your business, as you're working development and you work for an organization that is thinking DevSecOps environments with the design of the software, building components, that you can use. You can either spend a lot of time building your own, but when you have an organization that's thinking about the bigger picture, you can employ their components, their code. Uh, you find people that have common cause. And when you get into command and control, it's a highly integrated, complex environment operationally. I mean, that's what our airmen deal with in, in, out in the field where they're conducting operations. So to mimic that kind of complexity of specialties working for a common cause is what Kessel Run does really, really well. Uh, ops applications, intelligence applications, logistics applications, all working together, uh, sharing components, sharing uh, designs, uh, sharing code, and sharing data to build a better whole in the ecosystem for our customer. So that, that's a lot of fun. Uh, there's, on top of that, they find ways uh, to make things uh, interesting uh, with after-hour sessions, you know, talking about movies. Uh, during the day, um, having some uh, office hours amongst teams so you can go and talk to a team, uh, learn more about how the platform is developing or help how you know, different tools uh, are going to help you do your job better. Uh, there's a number of training sessions. I find that fun to know that you're getting support. Um, so, and even uh, recently with, in the spirit of the Olympics, uh, they, they had uh, an Olympics competition and put a spreadsheet out there and, and invited people to count the number of push-ups, sit-ups, yoga sessions, I mean, books you read, just to get points and compete with one another. 
So, I mean, building that esprit de corps has always been important in the military. Uh, I think that's part of being in the military, but I think Kessel Runs put their special spin on it uh, to incorporate not only the military aspects, but really taking in, uh, it's a large civilian organization, uh, a lot of folks that don't have military experience. And I think they've done a really good job of bringing folks in that have never been through boot camp, never been to ROTC or officer training school, and never had an assignment at a military base, but they can learn to instill and build a culture that supports that while still having a distinct one of their own. So it's a really fun organization to be a part of, and I enjoy coming to work every day. Which is one of the uh, aspects that we, we, when we were talking about this question, that we wanted to bring to light, because it is... Um, it, it, when you're talking about a public sector application or program, joy never really comes into that that discussion so much, um, because it's usually um, from from a waterfall perspective, it's usually very time deadline driven, um, cost uh, cost focused, et cetera. And from a de developer perspective, a lot of times you don't get your feedback for the work product that you produced until you know months, if not you know, a year later. Um, so you can't celebrate those little wins over and over again. So I think by the uh, um, the agile nature and the DevSecOps cultural um, climate of collaboration, teamwork, and, um, you know, sharing information instead of holding information uh, and then getting that constant feedback, I think that drives the joyous nature of why you want to come to work. Um, so it's it's refreshing. And you guys were the kind of the, tip of the spear within the DOD uh, for that type of um, paradigm shifting when it comes to IT delivery? It's definitely an anticipatory kind of role that you, you got to get your sponsors and your stakeholders to recognize a different way of receiving capability. Right. Uh, and they get on board. You know, I, I'm, I'm just a product manager. Uh, but with my sprints, my sprint reviews, I have stakeholders, I have, you know, headquarters, you know, action officers attend it. Uh, I meet with users on a regular basis. They see the features my team's building. Uh, they see the changes. They see the rapid deployment of new capability. And uh, they, I think they've bought into the idea. They understand what an MVP is. They understand what a post-MVP is. They're real willing to go along with the journey. You know, a lot of people say agile is a journey, but the expectation management you have with your users, but you build that confidence uh, in them to accept that way of doing business and to not only accept it, but to promote it and to expect it because as they see uh, iterative improvements, new things coming out on a regular basis, rather than anticipating something to come out in three or four years, Right. They can see it happening now, I think, is a much better way of doing business. And uh, I think both uh, the customer uh, who's paying good money for capabilities for their airmen uh, and Kessel Run, who's trying to provide those capabilities, have really come at a symbiotic kind of relationship. It does require continual education because uh, people are uh, you know, moving into positions. The military is very transitory in the leadership roles. Right. So... It's gradually working its way through the service that people are beginning to expect that at senior levels. Uh, I think at the junior levels, a lot of people get used to it. You know, they look at their iPhone, they see updates on their apps every day. They've come, become accustomed to that kind of mentality. They don't wait for a whole new version. Hey, I, you know, it's going to be a big uh, shutdown and, and install process. It's just happening automatically. I come to work one day, I log in. Oh, there's a new feature, and I'm, I'm aware of it. I see the release notes and I can get to work. Yeah, I, I, the, the, I, the iPhone updating apps analogy has always been, I think, uh, one that sells it. And they're like, oh, yeah, I, I, I expect that with my phone. I expect that. And now you're like, oh, I can get that out of my project that I've been waiting for years for. I can get I could do that instead. And, and that's always a good selling point. And I just to go back on the fun part, I, if you're if you name yourself after Star Wars, you've you've got to be fun there's got to be something <laughs> in there that's, that's gonna you, you know something better be fun <laughs> and, and and the serious aspect of that is having fun but you're you're doing something very important for our war fighters um you're working on a valuable service for them uh to protect us from our adversaries so 
Uh, yeah, and I, I think that uh, goes both ways. Not only uh, kind of knowing that we're doing that we're doing something for them, but our our folks get the benefit. I, I think there's you always want to be part of a winning team. That builds. I've always said, you know, if you want to improve morale, um, make them proud of what they're doing. And I think at Kessel Run, people know what they're doing is important. Uh, they're proud of what they do every day. That makes it fun. I mean, it builds morale. You see it every day. You see the attitudes that people have when they come to work. We have morning stand-ups. You can just see it in people's eyes that they're they're happy about what they're doing. They're proud of it. So knowing that just the nature of our customer and who we're serving is one thing, but uh, that that being part of that, um, it's reflected on them every day, and, and um, they're really happy with it. And you get to wear cool T-shirts and, and wardrobe. So that too. That Thanks, too. Jim. Uh, we really appreciate your time on this episode. Thanks to your listeners for listening in as we search for X in the continuous X equation or in the SDLC equation. Um, and stay tuned for another conversation with Jim.